of the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Rose Chapman. Congratulations! <laughs>
helped us out countless times when we've needed it, and again, always been there to offer support and advice. You've given both me and Josh a brilliant childhood, and have helped shape me into the person that I am today. Without that, I wouldn't be stood here today, lucky enough to be married to this lovely lady. Uh, next, I'm apparently obliged to say thank you to my best men, for what I haven't <laughs> quite figured out yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> I decided to have three best men instead of one, mainly because I could, um, and also because I couldn't really separate these three. Um, they really all do mean a great deal to me personally, so thank you for guys for being part of today. Josh, you've always been that annoying younger brother, and for that I guess I'll kind of be grateful. But you are always there to have a laugh and a joke with, and we always have that childish, immature humour between us. Matt, Elliot, we've been through school together and the beginnings of stumbling through adult life. The countless hilarious memories we have together will always live in my head rent free. So, you all look sharp in your suits and it wouldn't be the same if you weren't here to celebrate with us today. So, uh, bridesmaids, uh, some of you are over there somewhere. Um, of course, I must say a super big thank you to all of you. Each of you in your own way has been part of and had a massive impact, impact in Hannah's life. I know that you all mean a lot to her, so thank you for being here as her bridesmaids. I've been excited and happy for her on her wedding day. Emily, the maid of honour, you really are an amazing person. Thank you for everything that you've done in preparation for the day. <laughs> organising things with Hannah, chatting through ideas on the phone, organising an amazing hen do from what I heard. <laughs> And uh, the little crochet hearts that you've all got in your wedding favours have all been handmade by Emily, so thank you. Um, Lara, thank you again for helping with things, preparing the candles that you both made, um, and they're really amazing. The ones you see in the teacups have all been made by both Anna and Lara, so thank you. You all look amazing and beautiful, and make sure you get a moment to enjoy with Anna or someone this evening. So, to conclude, I think that's everyone. There's not really anyone else important that I need to talk about. Um, I suppose, other than, of course, my now beautiful wife. <laughs> uh, just about. I was at midnight last night, so. Uh, I'm a very lucky man to now be able to call you my wife. You look incredible as always, and I'm sure everyone would agree. Anna has been sort of catalyst in my life since we met. She has also helped to shape me as a person in many ways, for the better, obviously. One of the main reasons I fell in love with her was because of how she spoke about things she was passionate about and how she wanted certain things in her life to be, if she got to have them. She's helped to educate me about things that I was clueless about, mainly things about women, to be honest, so, <laughs> which isn't surprising, um, and helped to evolve opinions and views and morals that I can now stand by today. Well, we're very lucky to be able to know her in my opinion. She's an incredibly kind, caring, empathetic and selfless person and will be there to help and support anyone she cares about and even people that she doesn't know. I could ramble on for hours and hours about all of the reasons why I love her and all of her positives, but let's get to some negatives. Have you smelled her farts? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> 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 of course I'm joking. I'll stay away from her later. <laughs> no, of course I'm joking. I'm so happy and so proud to be able to call you my wife. So if we could all raise our glasses one more time to my now beautiful wife. Thank you for listening.